We have been farmers for generations. Our biggest problem was that when it rains, the water does not retain in our tank. The amount of water stored in the tank was low. As a result, we cultivate only for one season. What we do mostly during the Maha season is chena cultivation. Things like sesame, millet and orid were cultivated. Also, things like millet were cultivated on a small scale. We survived on such things. It was with great difficulty that we did farming. It was when we were living like this that the Climate Resilient Integrated Water Management Project came to our village. They came and renovated all the tanks within our Paluga Swewa Cascade system and created awareness continuously among us on how to maintain these in future. It was only after the awareness creation that we came to know that we have been doing china cultivation in the wrong way. It is because of those wrong methods that all the soil above the tank has got drained into the tank and it has got filled up. We realized this situation has arisen due to these wrong cultivation methods. The project taught us how to protect the tank by putting earth buns in the chinas above the tank. After putting these earth buns, they gave us annual crops like mango, coconut, jackfruit, and got us to plant them. Similarly, we were asked to plant gliracidia and things like wild sunflower in a hedge-like arrangement. Also, drains were placed in the correct places to stop the soil from being washed away. We did not give up our china cultivation, although we planted the annual crops that were given to us. As usual, we continue to cultivate vegetables like brinjal, chili and tomato. We do it even today. We are continuing the work as instructed by the project. Our mangoes have grown and reached the level of producing fruit. When it rains now, the water falls on the trees mango trees, coconut trees before falling onto the ground. Therefore, now the rainwater does not wash off the soil into the tank. Similarly, after a heavy rain, the muddy water does not go into the tank. The rainwater filters through the soil buns and roots and only then flows into the tank. In the past, after a shower of rain, the tank would be murky. But now, since clear water flows into the tank, it is clear and beautiful with water looking blue when you look at the tank the next morning. Actually, we did not think this Gliracidia hedge would be so useful. This Gliracidia hedge works as a wind barrier. Therefore, the evaporation of water in the tank caused by the wind has been largely reduced. Also, this Gliracidia and wild sunflower are both very useful. We cut them and use them to make organic fertilizer in our farm. Therefore, we were able to stop the expenditure on chemical fertilizers. The Climate Resilient Integrated Water Management Project officers were with us all the while. They are with us even today. It is a great strength to us. Also, you can see now that mango trees are bearing fruit. The coconut trees are also yielding coconuts. We are taking full benefits from them and we are very happy now. We were sad that the soil was getting washed away and the tank was destroyed due to the china cultivation we did. But now we are really happy. Now we are happy because we have corrected the mistakes we did as china cultivators. Water is now seeping into the tank. The tank is full of good water and beautiful. Therefore, we are happy now as farmers who cultivate three seasons.